Hey gang, welcome back to chapter 21 of the Crucible Chronicles, where once again we are continuing to play some more games uh, with Rumble Salim, the quarry composer, uh, my absolute favorite deck. Uh, if you want some more context for this deck, check out some of the previous videos in this chapter. Uh, we are uh, waiting for some dark tidings to come in, uh, so I'm hoping that sometimes next week. I was hoping this week, but it looks like the shipping. Uh, the shipping isn't going to bring those decks to me until probably mid next week. So uh, certainly something to look forward to. But, uh, you know, the silver lining is we have uh, at least a couple more episodes with Rumble. <laughs> so let's hop into today's game. All right, here we go. Playing against Zilla La Curiosa, v v Vichinga Della Brevida. Brevida, like a coffee maker or something like that. <laughs> is that what that is? Uh, let's see. What do we have here? What do we have here? Um, I usually like to get some some of my Cumex early if I can. Uh, like I'm not sad about this Vandalize and Nexus getting that down on the board. Uh, I didn't I actually honestly didn't even look at this at all. Um, some decent artifacts over there. Oh, the Sting. Very interesting. Um, This is going to stream. I might need to put on pants. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that's a uh, let's mulligan. Hope to get maybe into some Qmex. Uh, OK, that's that's a thing. Uh, that's a thing for sure. Um, let's just go shadows. Play out the shoulder in. Uh, it's going to deal damage to itself. It's going to deal damage to itself. Uh, we can follow up with like a pretty decent untamed turn here the alternative would be i could throw down some some logos cards um potentially shuffle them back in try and get them draw into them later um i could also potentially get into the ghost talk so i think i like that i think i like that uh, so let's go with logos here play out hide uh, quick so and odd clawed. Uh, put the damage onto the niffle ape. Okay, well, we got some of the pieces. <laughs> we got some of the pieces. Uh, just need the ghost talk, that's all. Just need the ghost talk for maximum benefits. All right, so uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna be doing much, uh, much there, uh, unless, of course. Unless, of course, what do I want to do? I could reap, throw down Nexus, hit the Vandalize. You know what? Let's just do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and reap, throw down the Nexus. Do I want to guard the Nexus? Uh, sure. Actually, no, I don't want to. And we'll Vandalize to get rid of, ooh, library. Let's get rid of the library. Oh, good. Give us a ghost talk. Ooh, no dice. We got the Amber Lucian, though. Got the Amber Lucian though. Uh, they got a gateway, so that's all right. Control the weak into shadows. Yeah, that hurts. Uh, that definitely hurts. That definitely hurts. Does not feel. Does not feel great. Is there any regrowths in this? No regrowths. But they have the Nepenthe seed. Uh, oh, I just got hit with another Control the weak. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess. <laughs> I guess we'll just do this. <laughs> oh man, what a what a card. What a card control the week is. All right, we'll go untamed. Uh, we will. I guess play Song of the Wild. Do some damage. Play Lost in the Woods to shuffle that back. Play out Fandangle. Glory on his attendance. Um, this card, this Amber Lucian, probably. Uh, I, th I have a feeling this Oubliette is. I mean, what other? What? Are, let's see what else is there. We've seen a lot of untamed. Uh, well, okay, there we go. Don't not it doesn't even require <laughs> doesn't even require further uh, further inspection. Uh, let's take a shadow's turn. We'll throw down Francis, then ransack. Uh, that gets rid of our Titan engineer. Okay, at least it wasn't a Qmex. At least it wasn't a Qmex. At least it wasn't a Qmex. Um, I'm not gonna lie, losing losing two turns right there to the uh, the back to back back to back uh, control of the week. It's a it's a pretty feels bad play. Um, 
pretty feels bad play. All right, we got a Lost in the Woods. We got a Cumex. Uh, so I like that. I like that. I feel like we've got quite a bit of quite a bit of logos left. Um, quite a bit of logos left. Can deal with that uh, Dodger. Oh, nice. Silver Tooth. Silver Tooth. All right, so we're going to see uh, opponent on check for a second key. Uh, we'll see what they do. Probably fight this Pismire, I would assume. Kill the Pismire. Um, yeah, uh, well well done. Well done. Uh, so I can take them off check, put myself on check. To what end, though? Good fights. Uh, hmm. I feel like I need to set up this library card. I need to set up this library card, but I oh mean, and this Lost in the Woods isn't going to be super great for me. So let's let's take a Logos turn. Take a logos turn. Uh, is that right? So we're hunting witch. No, there's a second dust pixie. So a second dust pixie and uh, the choda, of course. So I don't think they quite have enough to get on to onto a second key right now. Um, in in untamed, we also. I mean, there's a bunch of artifacts we haven't seen. Um, and we know we know that stings just waiting around so do I just want to uh, stall them for a turn I could like hit my cephaloist sure let's try that uh, so we'll take them off check for oh and draw into a single single shadows card well I guess that's like less chance that we're gonna draw into more shadows uh, with uh, Logos turn. Less chance. Still pretty good. Fights the Cephaloist. Uh, we got the Ghostly Hand. Oh my goodness. Oh, Lee, we, we did it. All right, I think we go untamed. We're going to reap here. We're lost in the woods. The ghost talk. Play out the niffle ape. End our turn. Hope to draw into some more logos. Okay, all right. We got hide. We got with vellum, so that's that's actually pretty good. Uh, it's vellum because we've got hide already in the discard pile. Uh, so that gives me like the opportunity to set up potentially this a pretty sweet library card turn. Um, all right, the Nepenthe seed comes down. Eternal Maneuver and Cooperative Hunting. Uh, interesting. Let's try an enemy creature and a friendly creature. Oh, so I can't actually kill my... Ooh, that does hurt. That does hurt. Do we take the Shadow Stern? I honestly don't think we have enough time. I think we just, we're just we just about to lose to a, a Dust Fixie situation. The, with the independent seed so whatever <laughs> it is what it is we'll take a shadow's turn uh draw into the ghost hawk uh oh, and there's the vandalize it's really a bummer that that vandalize was not before the ghost talk would love to at least get some value out of it uh hopefully they haven't drawn the second go the second dust pixie and they are calling dis so that's all right all right we got toxin Fear to throw back the Shadow Smith. Very interesting. Uh, I'm actually quite happy to have that back in hand potentially. All right, we'll take a Logos turn and we'll throw down the library card. And we'll play out a Cumex. We'll play out another Cumex. Play out Vellum. 
And then we'll BDQ killing that, 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 and end our turn. End our turn there. Hope, just hope they can't close it out in, uh, in Untamed. Oh, nice. Relentless Whispers uh, onto the Splinter to steal one. Cool. So we'll take a Logos turn here. Well, we get to do it. We get to make it happen. Library card. We're going to use this. Um, we'll go ahead and play out the Cumex. Another Cumex. Uh, play out the Auto Encoder. We'll Neurosiphon. Dealing a damage to the Cumex. Recycling that. Um, how do we want this to work? I guess we want probably Infomorph over here. We want uh, Vellum Hide Titan Engineer to the right. And then it's going to end right there. Uh, all right. It's pretty good. Um, I think they have all the pieces to close the game out. Oh, I should have uh, I should have blocked in the Titan Engineer, especially knowing that they they probably have all the pieces. Oh my goodness, they're going shadows. Discard the bad penny. Oh my. Oh my goodness. What are my options here? I think I need to capture some ember. Uh, I think I need to capture some ember. Got this vandalize. I mean... I don't even know what else just got played. Is that another Relentless Whispers? Discards Bad Penny. That is quite interesting. Um, I did grab the Wild Spirit, so quite happy about that. So I think we take an Untamed turn. Yeah, I think we take an Untamed turn. We'll go ahead and play Song of the Wild. Dealing a damage. Uh, no, I don't want my archives. Uh, dealing a damage there and there. We'll go ahead and throw the Wild Spirit right there. We do have the auto encoder out. Should probably try and remember that. Deploy left here. Uh, so we're going to reap with hide. And then Vellum. Um, I could throw back Amber Lucian. Let's see if I do this. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think I'm actually going to put Amber Lucian in there. That way it's not in my discard pile. Uh, and then we'll do a uh, look over there. We'll go ahead and reap there. Play out the Cephaloist. Play out uh, Pitsmire. Go ahead and Lost in the Woods. Uh, the Ghost Hawk. And I guess the Niffle Ape. I don't like it. Do I have my Ransack? I actually don't, do I? Hmm. Uh, so that puts us up 12. I'm sure I want to end my turn. Yes, I do. I would like to end my turn. Uh, their key cost is plus two. I assume we see the sting. Interesting. So the sting comes down. Do they have a poltergeist or something? Okay. All right. So they get that. Uh, they get that going for the, for themselves. Um, I can vandalize. I can throw down some nexuses. I 
I could potentially uh, actually I think we take a logos turn here oh I see I see they've got the uh, they got Choda so I think that that uh, that is probably game then unless I can potentially get to my ransack So this would be capture one here, reap, 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 reap. Now, could I get into my... I can't get back to the Neurosiphon. So... Oh, Choda, you silly, you sly Choda. Sly creature, you. Um... Yes, yeah, so that actually would have been potentially a pretty good reason to uh, to call shadows. Shadows earlier, that is. Well, I think we have to we have to try shadows and hope for a really nice ransack. I think that is the solution. <laughs> I think that's the, the I think that's our out that's our option. Um, let me just think this. Let me just double check. Double check. Think think it through again. Uh, we don't have the odd claw down. Uh, yeah, I think we got to do that. So uh, we'll call shadows here. Uh, we will pick up the archives. So we have, let's see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'll go ahead and deal two damage to the infomorph to steal one. Do we vandalize? Do we play these? Um, this is the this is one of the struggles with this deck. If like, or with this this type of situation is like the the ransack. So I have one draw of the Shadow Smith. Um, let's just vandalize. Uh, get rid of the gateway. We'll vandalize. Oh, uh, vandalize. Get rid of cooperative hunting, I suppose. Uh, sure, vandalize again. Let's do it. There's the common cold. Did I get discarded earlier? Oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be discarding uh, untamed cards for them. That's <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, probably play out the Nexus. Uh, so we, let's see, let's discard. Discard. Okay, we got the ghost talk. Do we discard once more? Okay, it was Francis. Let's see. This is where the true question is. Ransack. Ooh, we got the uh, got the shoulder in. Um, not quite what we were looking for. Not quite what we were looking for. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. And the Dust Pixie to boot, realistically. We would have, we would have needed that Ransack, to, first of all, to draw the Ransack, and actually, I don't even think the math worked out. Well played from our opponent. Uh, I would say that that is pretty good. That was pretty good, considering we literally lost two turns in a row to uh, to control the week. So I think that uh, I'm pretty happy with that result. I think uh, probably what I, sh what I sh should have done is taken that Shadow's turn earlier, um, that way, I at least have the power of the Nexus on the board, uh, p potentially being able to use my opponent's uh, Lash of Broken Dreams, uh, like because uh, you know, I could have generated a lot of Ember with all those Shadows creatures on the board, and also increasing their key cost by uh, by three. Uh, although, um, I guess yeah. So what, let's see. It was the the Untamed turn, the Logos turn, the Untamed turn. And then I went back into Logos, is that or No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. My memory is terrible. I'm sorry. Um, so I guess the Untamed turn is good because the Pismire was out on the board. Um, definitely pretty good uh, for sure. Uh, there's really not... Uh, I mean, the, the quick two keys and the 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 really nice control of the weak plays uh, really set me back. Uh, set me back quite a bit. Uh, and I think we were definitely in a position to, to make the comeback, but obviously a, a sting and handing my opponent six, six Ember is not really, is not really, uh, something that we can come back 
from with this deck. Um, uh, could we have played around it? Mm, I don't think. I I, I think. I, I guess I don't see a situation where where it would have worked out. Um, uh, which is primarily because uh, this, this deck has what the double hidden stash. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what was in the archive, but it seems pretty likely that it was was at least some of the pieces, uh, whether it be the dust pixie or the choda. Um, and you know, with the threat of the the Nepenthe seed or the Nepenthe seed, um, at least before the the deck flipped, uh, you know, the the threat was was real that whole time. Uh, and I don't really have a way to be able to prevent someone from playing uh, playing a creature. So, uh, Choda's uh, Choda's a pretty good pretty good way pretty good way out. I think I suppose the the one way we could have gotten out of that uh, was if we had the ability to vandalize Choda earlier. Um, but I don't even think we played a single Vandalize until till towards the end of the game. Um, or if we did, maybe it's just one. Uh, regardless, though. Regardless, though. Uh, very well played from our opponent. Uh, Zilla La Curiosa has, uh, has taken down the, the veritable rumble. Uh, no small task. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you all for checking out this video. Uh, I will be back later this week, uh, very likely with another uh, game with rumble. Uh, unless something changes on my uh, Canadian Dark Tidings order. Um, but hey, I'll just leave that up to uh, up to fate, and it'll be a surprise if it happens. <laughs> I will get you all later. So long.